Hi everyone, I'm Angelica Rain. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get Jimin's Purple Smoky Eye from his Filter Performance. So I love this makeup look so much that I decided to recreate it for myself. And I'm all ticked out like a fangirl, like this dress I got because it reminded me of a dress I saw Taylor wear in her cardigan in one of her cardigan music videos. I love the dress so much so I decided to get one similar. The cat ears remind me of some that I saw RM wear one time and then of course I always wear my One Direction promise bracelet for when they come back from break. I always wear my J-Hope bracelet and this is my Harry necklace. Harry used to always wear his uh paper airplane necklace so I got that going on and then I got some eyeliner and on this arm I wrote down all of One Direction and BTS's names and on this arm I wrote Taylor's name, Taylor Swift and Blackpink's name. So this is pretty much how I dress like on a regular basis. Like I've been doing this for years. I've been a fangirl since I was 13 and it's almost eight years. I'm 21. I became a director in August of 2013 and I've always been one to like dress similar to like One Direction Taylor and then I became a Blink last May and then an ARMY this past December. So I just love to match their style. I just love their style. So that's why I dress like this. Like I'm 21. I'm probably always going to be this way. Like fangirl. I'm like a fan woman now. Anyway, if you want to know how to get this makeup look, just keep on watching. To get started, I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. Let's just shake a little before you put it on. I already put, uh, applied my moisturizer earlier during my skincare routine. Now I'm going to take my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eye Primer and before putting it on my eyelids, I'm going to put it right here so I don't get smile lines. Now I'm going to put some on my eyelids. So I have my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette right here and I'm going to take the shade White Chocolate just so I can, um, the primer can set. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to say right there. So I'm going to take my Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to get started first with the shade Faint. It's this beautiful rose gold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that on my pinky and I'm going to apply this right here because I noticed you have like a little bit of a pink shadow right here and I'm just taking really like a little bit because it was just really light and I'm also going to take the other rose gold shade which is called Little Lady this one right here and I'm going to pick some up again on my pinky just a little bit in the same area right there now I'm taking this this is a dual chrome rose gold called Sissy and I'm taking it again just a little bit on my pinky because other pinks I felt like I felt like the other pinks were a little bit too light I needed to add a little bit of a more darker pink there we go okay so now for the purple shadow so I got this shiny eyeshadow brush this is E14 flat eyeshadow and I'm gonna pick up I'm going to go into the same palette, the Jekyll Hill palette, and I'm going to pick up the purple, beautiful purple shade. It's called Royalty. 
I'm gonna pick some up right on the brush. And I'm just gonna apply this all over the lid. So I picked some of the purple shadow on this finger and I'm just patting it on top of the purple shadow that we placed with the brush. Cause I notice if I do it with my finger, it like, like sparkles more, I guess, cause the oils in my fingers really warm up the product. Now I'm gonna take this Shaney E12 eyeshadow brush, that's just what it's called, and I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna get this black shade, this matte black, it's called Abyss. I just took a little bit, and I'm gonna smoke it out right here. So that's, that's how his look, it looks smoked out right here. I'm gonna go in with mascara, since we're finished with the eye. We're gonna finish with the eye with this Clinique Cayenne Pack Mascara in black. And I only take it on the top lashes. That's just personal preference. You can do what you want. If you want to do it on the bottom lashes, that's up to you. I just like to do it on the top. Now I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Mat True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup Ma um, Foundation. I was gonna say mascara in the shade Neutral with this shiny F19 blush brush that I like to use for foundation. Now I'm gonna take some concealer. This is my Instant Age Rewind Maybelline Multi-Use Concealer in the shade 110 Fair. I'm just gonna take it on the places I wanna highlight. And I don't really have anywhere that I really wanna cover off. I guess just my nose, because I have some pimples there, but that's really the only place I'm gonna cover up. And I already put concealing here. I'm going to go in with my Fenty powder in the shade Butter, and I'm going to use this Shiny F11 foundation brush. I'm going to do this to set everything. So I'm going to take my Maybelline Master Contour Kit in the shade 10 Light to Medium. Jim just has like incredible bone structure. It's like I didn't really see contour in him, but I love to contour so I'm going to do that. It's just personal pre personal preference. So I'm going with the Shaney let's see, F17 Buffer Bronzer <laughs> brush. I keep hearing weird stuff because my dog's over there and it's really windy. It didn't look like he was wearing blush or highlighter, but I'm still going to put highlighter, the highlighter from this palette right here. I'm just going to, oh no, I don't want to take it with my pink. I have a, I have a highlighter brush right here. This is my Shaney F13 rounded foundation brush, which I use for highlighter. Just take a little bit. This is just personal preference because I love highlighter. I'm gonna veil everything. So I have some powder on this powder brush that I was using earlier, some of the Fenty powder. And I'm just gonna carve everything up. Make sure everything is well blended. I'm gonna take this Burt's Bees uh, satin lipstick in the shade 523 Sunset Cruise. Oh, I'm going to take some of my L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Extender Setting Spray because we are done. This is the final step to lock everything in place.
And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you liked it. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. Bye. Oh, I should have done that like him, like you went like, like that. <laughs>